Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wear Mighty Things, a podcast dedicated to the Roosevelt's clothing brand presented by Wearable Fandom. You can find our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and of course on YouTube, where you're probably watching us right now. now. Exactly. Friends, we are live from New York Comic Con 2024, and you can see right next to me is J to the O H N Madigan, my co host, John Madigan. John, we're back together again, buddy. We're back, baby. It's great. We're like, we're like Zoolander. You ever see Zoolander? Like, yes. And the, the second trip, they're like, we're back. We're, we're back. We're back. It's the Derek Zoolander school for kids who don't read good. Wait, one, two, three. <laughs> I turned left. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin, how are you enjoying your con, my friend? It's going super, super well. Right behind us, actually, is the Roosevelt's booth. And you can see it's super de- decked out with a lot of the spooky themes from some of the limited edition pins that they actually dropped here. We're, 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 actually, we're wearing a couple of them right now. What you can also see right behind us actually is the, the Outpost. The Outpost is a special event where they allow people to uh, come in and buy up old stock. And then sometimes you find some pretty rare stuff, which we will talk a lot about yes. in just a minute. Right now, it's on hold because Nate... Paging Mr. Morrow is doing a, a live meet and greet right behind us here, so we're likely and to hear a lot of And his line squeals. is huge. Can we just say the amount of people that come out to go meet Paging Mr. Morrow is amazing. I, I mean, he clearly has such a huge following, and it's so cool that you know we get it, we get him here. We get and, him and here. Out of all the booths at New York Comic Con, he comes to the Roosevelt's booth. Exactly. So, and and people now associate Paging Mr. Morrow with the Roosevelt's brand. So, like, they know where to find him. They know where to go. That they do. That so, they do. I, I mean, so I just think it's absolutely awesome. So that, his line is super long, and he, I will just say, he is the friendliest. Isn't he the, the nicest guy? Yes. They, they, they say, don't meet your heroes. I think you can meet Pierre Genius tomorrow. I think if he's your hero, you can definitely meet him. I think him. You, he will sit there. He will talk to you. He will take your picture. He will, like, that, that guy is exactly who you see on camera. 100%. And I cannot say enough positive things about Patreon Mr. Morrow. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about Mr. Morrow, but let's uh, first talk a little bit about the news from the show. Uh, we've gotten a bunch of exclusives that were dropped here. We've got secret shadow exclusives, and then again, a second shadow exclusive. We'll talk about those in just a second. We've had surprises every day of the Surprises con. every day, trick or treats. Which I absolutely love. I really love the fact that like it gives you something extra to look forward to, and it makes you wonder, like, what's next? You never know what they're going to become. These Roosevelt people, they really love the surprises. They that really they love, do. That they, they, love, do. they love to take our money and remove it from our wallets. That they do. And a sucker <laughs> and his money are soon parted. Sucker here. Sucker oh, there. Sucker, absolutely. Right. We're yes. suckers. Every right. day. For sure. We have gotten a lot of compliments, and thank you to everyone who has said nice things. In fact, we fully anticipate a lot of cameos, people just dropping in just like they did for D23. That's what we're hoping for. Well, we're hoping for. If we don't get them, it's fine. You, you and I don't have to share no, the exactly. screen with anybody. No, exactly. We, we, got, we got each other. We got we, each, each other. other. That's right. That's all we need. That's all we need. I feel like we're about to do a, du- uh, a duet of Ebony and Ivory. Ebony. E- Ebony and Ivory. Ebony, Ebony and Ivory. <laughs> living in perfect harmony. harmony. Yeah, I think we need to work on that one. A little bit. A little, a little bit. bit. Karaoke we, bar tonight. No worries. We've also been covering the show for three days as part yes. of the wearable fandom line. So Absolutely. if you're curious to see anything that we've seen here, whether it's cosplayers, panels, news, or just great booths with some awesome examples of wearable fandom, check out that stuff. There's a playlist for New York Comic Con, and we'll have those linked at the end of the video here as well. Let's jump into the news from the show here, John. Specifically that the Roosevelt's had their four uh, exclusives. exclusives, but yep. then then on the night before the con, they actually announced that there would be a new spooky floral. Yes. And the way that they distributed this was they gave out a ticket to everyone could pull a ticket. First hundred people. First hundred people could pull a ticket. And those tickets would say one of two things. One would say trick, trick, in which case you got a 20% discount on your next order. uh, On Roosevelt's.com. On Roosevelt's.com, online only. And then, of course, if you pulled one of these bad boys... Did you get a treat card? I got a treat card. Oh, my God. They were blank. They were all the same printing on this side. And then when you pull one, you get to pick up one of these spooky florals. And I got to say, John, you know I've been a little bit down on most of the Series 2 florals. I'm not my favorite designs. You've mentioned that. A few that I like, but this spooky floral looks great. They've replaced a lot of the space, the negative space in the shirt between the hibiscus with spider webs. Uh, it's definitely a banger. 
there's only a hundred of them, and so it's going to be That's a rare from what collection we've heard, item yes. for sure. So, so realize, so there's only a hundred shirts total, and every day there's only a hundred cards. Wow. So that would mean that there's only tw- about approximately 25 cards a day that say treat. The other 75 say trick. Yeah. So you had to have pulled the. You only you have a one in 25 chance. It's one in 25. Not bad. One so, 25. Yeah. Uh, you got you got lucky. I got lucky. Yes. But we're also trying every day. So absolutely. So you know you never you, know, you never know. Everyone gets a shot every day. Everyone and gets a shot. Everyone gets a shot. Yeah. So um, what did what? So to talk about what this is, if you got a treat, it's not a free shirt. You got the right to try to buy one. At three o'clock each day, they bring all the people with the treat but uh, treat tickets, and you can then try to purchase one. They don't guarantee your size. They no, just guarantee not. that you, you can, can buy one shirt. of the shirts. Right. And I got to say, even if you don't have one in your size, the people on BST are going crazy for this shirt right now. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of in search ofs right now for this shirt. So um, if you do happen to pull the treat card, you would be silly to not buy, even if you don't get your size, get a different size so you can try to trade with someone or possibly sell it and then buy your own from somebody else. Exactly. You so, know, somebody wants that shirt. Somebody definitely wants that shirt. People are going crazy for it. It's absolutely amazing. Now, we thought that that was going to be we thought the only it. surprise, right? right. That, that was going to be the only surprise. But then, just today, here on sun, whoa, Saturday... Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, we're, getting, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Are we? I, yes, we are. Okay. I think we got to talk a little bit about the pin surprises. Oh, that's right. We, Go we, ahead. Intro. So, also, on the same day, uh, as you know, the Roosevelt, they are selling pins. We are in full pin force. I would say, to, I would say pre-New York Comic Con was kind of like the beta. And then today is today is the official New York Comic Con pin trading event. Our first New York Comic our first pin trading event for Roosevelt. Yeah. And so what that means is that at, from three to five today, you head over to the Roosevelt booth. People are going to be trading pins. And what they've done is because that right now pins are exclusive to conventions. So the only place that you can buy pins directly from Roosevelt is at the Roosevelt booth during conventions. Um, and first of all, we've gotten spooky pins, yeah. which is exciting. And we've also gotten now, for the first time ever, the one of one pins that we've heard forever about. Yes. Up until now, when you've purchased pins, spooky pins were not possible. One of one pins were not possible. Now, we have a shot. And we've actually seen a couple pulled. Yes. And so these are exclusive. They're, they are exactly what they sound like one of one pins. There is nothing, there's. There's no others. There's no you have you have the only one, and that's kind of exciting. Yeah. I mean, and it's it's going to be interesting to see what kind of market this creates. You know, will you see people trading one-on-one pins for actual shirts? Like, will you see like where is the value on a one-of-one pin going to be in comparison to a super limited shirt? Right. Exactly. I mean, there's literally one, just one. So it's the one. Right. If it's a gold kraken. There's going to be a lot of people chasing after that. You know? Right, exactly. And I'm sure someone will give it to Aaron Williams for 50 bucks. <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. I love you, Aaron. <laughs> Not saying yeah. he doesn't deserve it. I'm just saying he can, Aaron gets lucky. I don't know. I don't uh, know. You know, hey, you know, uh, hey luck he's, is preparation. He's, he's, paid, skill. His, he's paid his dues. I, 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 <laughs> luck is preparation meeting opportunity, right? That's, Absolutely. That's usually what they say. Absolutely. So the pins are great. We're going to cover and, and record some footage of the pin trading activity later today. And, and we've also been told that there's going to be certain raffles and giveaways happening at the pin trading event. Um, we don't know exactly what they're going to be giving away and whatnot, but it's a little, it's kind of exciting to see yeah. what, you know, what kind of extra things we're going to be getting. Could, could be new lanyards, could be some sort of starter kit, could, could, be. Be, could be even more new pins that we haven't even seen yet. You know, at the time of this recording, it hasn't taken place yet, so we really don't know, but we're super excited about it. Yeah, exactly, and it's it's one of those things where they could drop anything on us. I mean, so far, we've already been surprised more than one time. It, it's it's pretty amazing, and we're going to just have to see how it goes at 3 o'clock, right? Absolutely, yes. At 3 o'clock today, we will be here and uh, doing our first ever pin trading event. Yeah. What Now, now tell me, what pins are you looking for? Is there what, what are some of your favorite pins that maybe you've seen that you really like, that you're hoping maybe you can trade for, or hoping maybe you'll pull? Uh, I would love to get some of the Steve pins from Hoboken since I. That's amazing. I, say, I will say that we have not seen those yet today. Yeah, we have not seen those yet. Yeah. 
I'm hoping we get they, that could be some of the giveaway items of today. Maybe. I would definitely because there are definitely some Steve pins that I am missing that I would definitely love to add to my collection. I'm missing all of them. You're missing all. <laughs> you still haven't one yet. I was at Hoboken. I know. I, th I thought you got something from some. Oh, oh well, I have a couple trades in progress, but yes, I have not. Okay, I, you haven't actually all. physically received exactly. one yet. That has not all taken place yet. No. Okay, well, I'm definitely hoping that you get a Steve Steve pin soon because you definitely deserve it, my friend. Now we also saw. Speaking of pins. Uh, the co-founder John was wearing one of the denim jackets that we actually saw. Actually, at a bunch San of the Diego staff Comic members Con. yesterday were wearing the denim jackets. You're I think. right. You're and, right. It was were. it was kind of a coordinated thing. It seems like, which was kind of exciting. Um, I love the idea of a denim jacket. So um, if that's happening, and I've heard rumblings, I've heard a, I've heard a mixed bag of things on when we could be getting those. I don't know about you. I've heard. I mean, who knows? Who knows? But I've heard. I heard they could be happening very soon. Uh, maybe, maybe as early as the next couple of weeks, which would be great. Which would be it's great. Getting, it's getting cold. That's the perfect time to get a denim jacket. And also the details that we've also heard on that. And, you know, things are always subject to change, of course. I mean, but these are just the rumblings that we've heard within the community. Um, is that when you purchase your denim jacket, it is going to come with a couple of the iron-on patches. Now, yes. now, they're going to be a mystery from what we've seen. That they're not going, you're not going to be able to pick out, at least not initially, which de which patches you want included. Right, right. And that eventually they'll be selling patches at the Comic Con booth and eventually online. So that's just also kind of a really exciting thing. Um, I've never done an iron on patch. I don't even know how to do that. With an uh, iron. With, with an iron. I don't even own an iron. I don't own an iron. I don't know. I'm excited. I need to, I need to buy an iron. <laughs> Where do I buy? Amazon. 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 Uh, the same well, I, places that distribute our podcast, like I, I Walgreens. Will, I'll need the wearable fandom instructions on how to use an iron on pack. Okay. All right. that, that sounds like something, you know, I mean, wearable, I mean, that is wearable fandom. That's and true. I, I imagine there's probably a lot of people out there like me that have no clue how to use, uh, and have you ever done an iron on patch before? Yeah. Have you done that? Yeah. Now, is that like an, is that a permanent thing? Like I'm trying yeah. to, I, to oh, uh, you, you I don't can, know. You can probably rip it off. I mean, it's like an adhesive. You heat up the adhesive. And then, but then you risk ruining the jacket. Exactly. Right. I well, mean, I mean, ruin it. You're just going to put another one. It's like a tattoo thing, right? I see. Get rid of a tattoo. Put another tattoo over the tattoo. Sometimes it, ta it works better than others. You got a tattoo of tattoo. The plane, boss. The plane. <laughs> <laughs> um, but definitely excited that you can actually, you can actually, if we actually, we step back here just for a minute, you can actually see this is the line continuing to form for Paging yeah. Miss Tomorrow yeah, right yeah. here. So this is actually really exciting. Um, like I said, oh, and he's right over there. His meet and greet has begun. Great. It's good yeah. for Nate's. And do you want to let him know the other surprise that we've received this morning? There was no word about, oh wait, we, we're, we're missing one thing. What? We're missing the mystery box raffles. The mystery box raffle, yes. Before we get to the today's surprise, there's surprises every single there's day. There's so many surprises. It's like it's we literally cool. we literally can't even keep up telling you all of them because it's like no matter next time we look, there's another surprise. So there's the mystery box, which is supposed to have five hundred dollars retail value. Really, I yes, I'm learning that for the first time. There's I, there's I think eight boxes, two in each size, yeah. and then when they pull your number, they pay twenty dollars for a ticket. And they pull your number, uh, or pull your card, <laughs> pull your raffle ticket. Yeah. I think you go up, pick the size you want, and then you're on your way. And so it's also important to notice that there's only between medium and 2XL. That's right, that's right. So they didn't have uh, $500 of value with smalls. I don't know if I believe that. I don't I, I would think so. <laughs> oh, that would be a pretty expensive box. I don't know. Pretty I mean, expensive, yeah. Pretty expensive, yeah. yeah. But, um, but, but yeah, so it'll definitely be interesting to see. Who wins those? Uh, will they will they keep it sealed, or will they, will they or will they like try to like resell it on BST sealed, or will they will they open it up in front of everybody? Will we find out what's in these boxes? We will find out soon enough. Now, uh, now let's get on to the big surprise from today. The surprise from today is something that people have been asking for. So there's a, a design time. thread and a thread where people declare what properties they really would like to see with with the Roosevelt's and. There's been a bunch of them that we've seen already this year. The Muppets, oh, wow, you know, we've seen the, the Peanuts. Yeah. We, we haven't seen any Simpsons. That tends to be on the top three of the call -outs. People have been waiting for Simpsons for a very long time. But, but one of the ones that actually I've seen a lot more than others has been actually Stranger Things. Things the Stranger Things from Netflix. Netflix. And today they actually unveiled a New York Comic Con exclusive. Yes. It's the uh, Hopper Floral. Yes. From the Sheriff Hopper, who's one of the main characters. I don't remember the actor's name, but he's great. He gave an awesome speech at the um, at the awards the sure. first year that they won. It was yeah. really cool. Maybe I'll link to that in the show notes. Yeah, why but, not? but Chief Hopper 
has a floral, and they actually dropped it out of nowhere on us. Just so completely it, out of nowhere. It's two big pieces of news. Actually, it's three big pieces of news. One, Stranger Things licensing, which means there will be a collection coming at some point. We would hope so, at least. Perfect time of year, and, and we got to believe that's coming really soon. It's and, Halloween. they got to get this stuff out for Halloween. Right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. And, you know, the, well, the question that I asked is, is this a Stranger Things license, or is this a Netflix license? Yes, you did. And we got an answer. What was that? It's a Netflix Originals license. Netflix Originals. So, I mean, as to what exactly that entails, you know, I mean, at least just on paper, it just sounds like any Netflix original show could potentially become a shirt in the future. Yeah. The Queen's Gambit performance hoodie. That's me. Thank <laughs> you. The Menendez brothers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> a point being... All of them are options, so we'll just have to see how that all works out, right? Yeah, it's going to be a good time. I mean, um, this is crazy. This is absolutely exciting. That's just the first three days of the show. Right, exactly. We still have the rest of today and tomorrow to find out what else is happening. Right. I, mean, I, I expect we'll get at least one or two more surprises, so stand by. And those will, we're recording on Saturday. There's still one more day of the show, so we'll have some coverage, but we won't know until the next time we record the podcast what crazy thing happened on Sunday. Right. Dustin's going to run around the convention naked. That's what's going to happen. No, yeah, uh, I already did that. I <laughs> got the footage in already all. did that. <laughs> there's, now, a, there's a link in the description. Link in the description, exactly. To, to the OnlyFans page. Now, woo! woo. That's uh, we got to monetize somehow, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there. We're, we're getting, getting, there. getting, we're getting there. there. We're getting there. And that's a great sidebar to remind you guys to like and subscribe to Wearable Fandom. If Give you're enjoying up. our podcast, leave a comment. Drop us an email, wearablefandom at gmail.com. We love to hear from you guys. Let us know what you like about the show, what do you like about the cast, and what else you'd like us to cover. We'll be happy to take all feedback and then selectively choose which to respond to. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's positive feedback, you know, you know, we're good. We're, we're Dustin and John. That's right. You know, if it's negative feedback, we're, you know, Ollie and Bulgate. Right? Ollie. <laughs> why you got to make it editable? Why do, why do, why do, why do I got to edit? This is, this is why you love me. This, this is why I love this you. This is yes. why he, you know... I, I may make some jokes that maybe Dustin wouldn't agree with, but would you have it any other way? No, no, of course. He, he's a, you're a little bit of a live wire. I'm a, I'm a little bit... You, a live you, wire. A live wire. Yeah. You hand me a microphone, you never know what I'm going to say. I don't know. That's just, that's a really it, good point. It just it happens. Now, speaking of never knowing what's going to happen, before, on previous episodes of the cast here, we've talked a lot about Staten Island Fest. Yes. Staten Island Fest took place, John, earlier this week. Yes, it did. And amazingly, I rode this, we rode the Staten Island Ferry. Yes, we did. And you'll be seeing that video dropping really soon. It takes a little I, while to edit it all together. I'm very excited to see how Staten Island Fest came out because, I mean, even though I lived it, I experienced it, I breathed it, I want to relive it. I yeah. want to see it again. And uh, first of all, I, from a from a non-joking standpoint, from very serious, I am so grateful that you decided to come, you know, to where I live and check out my hometown and just see all the things that I grew up with and things that I got to experience. And um, it means a lot to me as someone that I consider a truly good friend of mine. You know, and you know, you've you've had very limited experiences in New York. Um, I was just really happy that I could to kind of show you around a little bit. Thank you. you. You know, and um, how was your experience in Staten Island? Well, first of all, the ferry was awesome. I yeah. learned a lot. We talked and did some trivia about, like, the famous Staten Islanders. Yes. Uh, we got to go to some really great pizza, and that yeah. also was, was quite... We checked out Danino's, which yeah. was was really delicious. We went to Ralph's and we got Ralph's ice. We got cream ice. Yes. <laughs> they don't sell ice cream on Staten Island. They sell cream ice. <laughs> and it's not the same thing actually. It's I not mean, it's a different it's a different texture, different consistency. It is. It's a different way of making it. It's yeah. uh, it's very interesting. We went to a uh, McDonald's in a strip mall yeah. which I've never seen before. Which, that wasn't even part of the tour. That was Dustin, not. we were just walking and Dustin saw it and he was like I've never seen oh, something. Oh, like, oh hey, Maggie. Hey, Maggie's Maggie, getting oh, in look, again. Come on, come on. Can you, can you at, join us? At D23, us? she was dancing in the background. Here she is. Are you? Yeah. Is this the end of the line? How are you enjoying your convention? I know you I know you don't have a lot of time to talk. Love it. You're going to be at the end of the line. I get it. But um, what is your favorite shirt that has dropped so far? Oh, man. <laughs> she's, she's, she's thinking, she's she's thinking it over. She's thinking Tough it over. Tough choice. I couldn't say. The jean jackets. It's not a shirt. But they're safe. The jean jacket. The jean... Well, well I... Did we, did, are we are we dropping those at the show? Is that a uh, uh, not at the show, but they're sick. I know, I'm really. Excited. We agree. We agree. I'm, awesome. Whoa. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Kyle. We've done. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Kyle, whoa, Kyle, 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 come in. Whoa. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Kyle Probably Keller did. drive by right there. Hey, Kyle. What's up, everybody? <laughs> How, How you doing? doing? How you doing, my buddy? Living the dream. 
Good. I'm first of all so glad Kyle just flew in this morning, uh, picked him up from the airport, and we. I, I'm so grateful that you're here. And Kyle, we were just talking. Dustin pulled a trick or treat card today. You did as well, didn't you? Yes, I did. Dude, how awesome and exciting is that? Are you excited to get your spooky floral? As soon as I find it, it's awesome. As soon as you. It's in my other shirt. You, okay. Oh, okay. oh, the ticket. Okay. He oh, just oh, made oh. a joke. He just made a joke that he didn't know where this where the ticket was. I'm gonna look now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's Kyle, on a mission. Kyle might. Kyle's on a mission. <laughs> Kyle might uh, be. Uh, I don't know. He might, he I might. think the technical term here is soldier out of luck. Soldier, okay. Abbreviated I really, to SOL. <laughs> I really hope you. Uh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got we, it. Kyle's we, the man. He, you know, he's gonna get it. He's, he's gonna. Got, he's got it. He's, he's got it. He's got it going on. And yo, I, I see. Why aren't we in the tux anymore, Kyle? Boom, there pow. we go. Boom. We got it. Yeah. It's right, baby. There it he's is. Got the treat. What made you do the costume change? The outfit I change. change. I know, but I, I kind of, I kind of like the, you know, the mosh yeah. floral. Can we actually, can we can we see that backpack real quick? Okay, yeah, it's good. We've only seen photos of this, but the backpack is great. Now, you know the story about this backpack. Yes, absolutely. Look at this bad so boy. This right here is a one-of-one one, uh, Mosh Isley backpack. So this is the New York Comic Con Mosh Isley shirt on an official Roosevelt's backpack uh, that nobody has except for this legend right here, Mr. Kyle Keller himself. Um, and this was sent out personally by the co-founder of Roosevelt, Steve Gebhardt. Yes. Um, that's got to feel really special for you. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. That. Yeah. And uh, we should also just also note that Kyle is wearing the F. Yeah shirt that yeah. is uh, has was just debuted at New York Comic Con as well. Another surprise that we had nothing, no clue about. But this was so Kyle went out of his way to get another New York Comic Con Moss shirt that he then um, changed into shorts. He had, cut out, he had him cut up into shorts, and when Kyle was at the next meetup, Steve, the co-founder of Roosevelt, absolutely loved it. He really, really, really loved it. And not only did he get shorts, he got a whole flag. He made a flag. He yeah. made a flag. Um, oh, and he's, he's got, Kyle's got the flag. Let's go take a look Whoa. at that. Oh. Look at that. So when co-founder Steve saw you know how much Kyle truly loves this design, and as he should, this is one of the greatest designs that Roosevelt has ever put up with. And I love that it's you know it's an original, you know as well. It's a Roosevelt's original. Yeah. You no, know, I mean not to they make so many great licensed designs, but to have an original Roosevelt design, something that truly speaks as to what the brand is. Yeah, something special. So, co-founder Steve, and I love I love the new backdrop, but I am very sad this one's gone for now. Yes, of course I understand yeah. that. But so co-founder Steve sent out this backpack specifically for Kyle and uh, I can't think of anybody more deserving to have this. So, I appreciate it. Yeah. So uh, Kyle is just a fantastic insider and I'm really glad that you're here and that you stopped by and that you uh, you know, are here at New York Comic Con hanging out, my friend. Are you, oh, enjoy yeah. are you enjoying your con? Oh, yeah. Now, just in your opinion, what is your favorite shirt that dropped this weekend at Comic Con? Spooky floral. Spooky floral, baby. Spooky floral. Yep, and Dustin and Kyle will be picking up their florals today at and, 3 o'clock. Oh, and the creeping here. Creepin here. Hey, hey, I'm creeping here. I'm creeping over here. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, well, thank All you right. so thank you so much, buddy. I'll see yeah, you in a little bit. Yeah, it's good to see you, Kyle. See, wow. That's it. That's just it. You never know I who's going to be dropping off. I love these uh, drop-ins. I know. I love it, too. It's yeah. so much fun. Let's jump back to uh, Staten Island Fest. Yes, sir. So Staten Island Fest, we rode the ferry. We, You took me to some great pizza. Yes. And you took me to Danino's and then to Punch and Judy's, right? To Joe and Pat's. Joe, oh, and Joe, Joe and Pat's. Joe and Pat's. So you got it. You got it close. You got it close. <laughs> Punch and Judy. Punch so and you you told me that there's a little bit of like a religious war on Staten Island. There about is a little. Who has a, the best pizza little, between these two places? There, there's a little. There's a little back and forth. A little bit. Um, you know, there's a, a good amount of us that think Danino's is better. Then there's another good amount of people in Staten Island that believe that Joe and Pat's is the best. And look, they're they're both they're both great pies. I thought so. I mean, and ultimately, in order to find out what Dustin liked better, we had to go to both of them. We had to experience both. We got some cheese slices, and you're gonna see that in the video. So if you want to hear Dustin's full thoughts and ultimately what he thought the winner was you're gonna to have to watch that video as soon as it drops um, but I'm so glad that you came out to Staten Island and then we also took out the antique store the antique store the creepy antiques yes and uh, we all it was a little creepy right? a little it was creepy a, a lot of Elvis a lot, lot of El a lot of Elvis you never know what's gonna walk through that door man so it's a <laughs> 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 uh, definitely um, definitely a um, 
de definitely a, a great time in Staten Island, and I'm really excited for you to come back. Yeah, then it's, I rode the ferry back to the city, and away I went. I also took the subway that day, too. That's right. Yeah. Oh, my God. How was that? Was there any issues there? I was looking for pizza rats, but I couldn't find one. <laughs> no pizza rats. No pizza. That's probably a blessing. You don't, yeah. you don't want the pizza rats. I, I guess the want. pizza rat has just, you know... He's moved on. He's 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 represented now. He's on his way to jazzy. He's, he's exactly. He's a, he's a jazzy right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great. Oh, there's also been a lot of other social activities that have happened here. Yesterday we went down and got yet another surprise when we went to the pizza beer party meetup. Jake Holland, Pizza Beer Party on, yes. on TikTok and, and all socials. And can I just say another fantastic we were talking about Huge. how awesome how awesome Nate Paging Mr. Mars is. Jay Collin, Pizza Beard Party, also just a gem of a human being. Amazing. No matter when you talk to this guy, he is always some of the kindest individuals you'll ever meet. He is a fantastic person and truly blessed to call him a friend and see him. And so we learned something brand new yesterday at the pizza party. We walked in, do you want to say it? Yeah, walked in and Jake's wearing a, a new shirt and it's a Pizza Beard Party shirt. He's literally wearing little pizza beard characters like a, a characterization well, of him can, as a slice we can probably show up the picture yeah right here. I'll, probably, put, I'll, I'll put that up right I got that photo we can yeah. throw that here exactly and we learned that he's getting his own pizza beer party collection exactly amazing and, and that's really exciting and first of all so deserving so happy for him he's such a great guy um, he, not only do we know that he's getting his own original shirt we also know that he's getting his own original hat as well so he's uh, you know Jay Collins is a great guy and first of all, the pizza the pizza that we were eating was phenomenal. It was great. There was a bunch of us that came out and you know Roosevelt Street is some really good pizza and drinks. And um, so if there's a if there's a pizza beard party in your area at, ne at the next convention, you don't want to miss out because I think a lot of people didn't realize it was even uh, happening. Um, it, it I was, was a few blocks off, but it was well worth the walk. Oh, absolutely. I think I mean there was definitely a lot of people. Um, there was definitely a lot of people who came, but. Not as much as I expected, which was kind of good from a social standpoint because yeah. it really got you the chance to really talk with the people who were there, which is great. But if there's a pizza beer party in your area, definitely go check it out because yeah. Roosevelt's throws some. Oh, oh, you want to get oh, in there? Oh, this is David Resto. Oh, oh David. come on, now come you're on. in, David. Come on, David. David. Come on, David. David, you got to stay. Hey, wow, is this live? This it's, is it's not live, live, but it will be. David, you want to introduce yourself and what you do for Roosevelt? Mm, I'm oh, David you Resto, senior you're art director. Um, handle a lot of the marketing. Um, Pre-production planning, photography, I oversee the photography, um, video, um, and all the camp design for the campaigns and stuff. David so is just making sure everything's good. Everything's pretty for marketing. That's what I do. And David That's is just good. a master of all trades. He, the, he, This guy is the absolute man and one of the kindest individuals that you will meet at Roosevelt. Are you enjoying your con? I'm exhausted. I believe I it. I did I'm not work yesterday. I just hung out, and then I partied way too hard last night. We did party a little hard last night. Yeah, it's just, it's just too much. But I love it here. I love what we do. I love being able to see people get happy and excited about our gear. Absolutely. Great. And David, what's your favorite shirt that dropped during this weekend at Comic-Con? Oh, I'm wearing put it. Put him on the spot. This is it. it. Oh, oh, he's literally got oh, the Stranger he's Things got floral. Right now. Yeah. The Chief oh, Hopper it's floral. Okay. It's okay to have a favorite. There's nothing wrong with having right a favorite. Right now, this is, this is it. Yeah, right it, now and, that, and that is a that is a phenomenal shirt right there, and that is such a cool surprise. And we were just saying, it's so cool how many surprises. Roosevelt's baby, that. that's like go. We're just saying. Purpose. You can see the demi Gordon kind of Gordon kind of nicely hidden in there. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Oh my yeah. god, that's amazing. It's really cute. That is such. That is such a very good, different from the other good, florals good, from this year. Now, who comes up? So when you guys are designing and planning that, like that little that little touch right there, who comes up with that? Who who kind of? I makes literally this? have no idea. Um, when we're doing our creative brainstorms, it's like everyone's on the call. I'm sorry. Uh, everyone's on the call. Um, so it's like we're all just kind of spitballing and piggybacking off each other's ideas. I don't want to take credit for it but i know that when we were looking at it we with how many times we've seen like the mistakes of it being upside down it's like we should just do an upside down <laughs> version of it. it's like no 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 upside down is a mistake so it's like now it's mirrored upside down so now, yeah. we're, now we're just waiting for someone to pull so now one it's like right side up. Purposefully like, <laughs> yeah. mirrored upside down. So but also like, the upside down weird, yeah. in Stranger Things, yeah. right? right? That's exactly. the location. Yeah, that's the so that's super yeah. cool. Location, man. So yeah. uh, I don't know really who came up with it, but it's like we all just love the idea. It's just kind of happened. So. That is an absolutely phenomenal idea, man. And it's just always so good seeing you at all the guns. You have always been quite the friendly face to everyone. And you're just, you're the man, David. No, I try. I try. I mean, we wouldn't be here without you guys. So uh, thank you. We wouldn't be here without you, my friend.
That's true. It's a podcast about Roosevelt's. Yeah. Exactly. Synergy. <laughs> Where am I? Synergy. We're, we're, we're working together. We're working, we're working to, together. Exactly. We're all together. Yeah. Uh, awesome. No, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time, David. Yeah, but, dude, thank, dude, but, dude, thank you so much for everything. And you're just, you're the man. And I can't wait to see how many, you know, you guys keep dropping surprises, surprise, surprise. It's like, are we done with surprises? That's, I mean, that's what the question. Is, what's going to happen? When's this going to drop? This is uh, uh, probably about a week. Probably Tuesday. Probably Tuesday. Mm. Next Tuesday. Well, then you guys will see what drops on Monday. All right. Bye. Oh, oh, Monday. Oh, man. <laughs> thank thank you. Thank you. That so, was David Resto. Thank you so much, David, for joining wow. us. Wow, he wears a lot of hats, too. Yes, he does. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> something for Monday. <laughs> something for Monday is happening. Right. Well, maybe I have to edit faster now. Now, after we had that awesome pizza with Pizza Beer Party, learned about his new collection that's coming out. Roosevelt's treated us out to a happy hour, which is not just for the con attendees, but for the locals. And we went to As Is NYC up yes. on 10th Avenue and 50th. A really cool, different kind of bar. It's a very right? cool bar. They had a lot of different tastes of beer. Yeah, a lot. I think it's actually a brewery as well. Yeah, some of those are West Coast beers, but some of them might have been locals as well. It was a really different place. Definitely not the kind of. It wasn't your typical dive bar. No, it, it was, was definitely no, a definitely little bit. That bar. was definitely a little bit more upscale and. Yeah. Um, it was actually kind of cool. They actually, when they saw that the bartenders were uh, were Mets fans, they gave them all it the was exclusive great. floral. Yeah, it's you know it's actually been really awesome to be here while the Mets and the Yankees are in in the playoffs. And, yes, exactly. And we were at a Mets bar watching the Mets stomp on the Dodgers. Sorry, Dodgers fans, <laughs> but it was great. It's going back and forth. We'll see. By like maybe by the time this episode drops, the issue will have been resolved. It may have. But, but I hope that uh, uh, we're go Mets here. If we, if, we go, if we have a Subway series, that's going to be really interesting and going to be really exciting for the town. I'm, I'm just interested in not L.A. winning. As a, as a Giants fan, mm-hmm. not L.A. is good. No, we don't want L.A. to win. L.A. is not... LA's not yeah, LA's no, not no, no L.A. I like Shohei Otani, Otani but like, forget about the, the Dodgers. The Dodgers. <laughs> I hear you, man. Yeah. Um, maybe we should get into the exclusives, though, that dropped, you know. Okay, yeah. Let's let's talk a little bit about the drops that we had here. So the first one up was the new floral, the yeah. Mets floral. Yes. It's, it's the Floral City New York. It's a, a Series 2. Yes. They did one last year. Yes, the Yankees, co- Yankees colors. Right, exactly. And then this is, uh, you know, Mets and Knicks colors, you know. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, Florida Gators yep, colors. So we, so we had that drop on Thursday. Yes. And then also on Thursday... We had from the Nightmare Before Christmas. We had the stories from Spiral Hill. A good-looking shirt. I mean, it was a very unique uh, Nightmare Before Christmas type of shirt. Right? Yes, it exactly. Was not the typical one that you would expect, like a heavy Jack Skellington kind of. Thing. Oh no, not at all. No, this yeah. was kind of all over the place. This yeah. was this was a very different kind of shirt. These are like covers of stories and books, you know. And yeah, and then on Friday we had hey. Hey. I'm, I'm creeping here. I'm creeping here. Which is a Roosevelt's original. It's a spooky Roosevelt's original. Yes. Um, basically telling about zombies in New York, it kind of seemed like. Yeah. Um, a whole lot of hidden gems in that shirt. Um, taxi cabs, zombies, pizza rats. You know, all things that, you know, you would associate with New York online. And hey. Like, hey, yo. Yo. I'm, I'm walking over here. I'm walking over here. Yeah. Yeah. And then on Saturday, we have the, it's Morbin time. It's Morbin time, which is a Power Rangers joke yeah. for a Mobius Marvel shirt, which yes. is, it was a, it was a Dustin shirt. It was more of a Dustin style shirt with like the little heads of the character Morbius, the yes. vampire from Marvel Universe. Uh, pretty nice, nicely designed shirt, I thought. It Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely more of a Dustin shirt than a John shirt, yes, I'd say. Exactly. Uh, but, um, yeah, so we had, and then we also had the release, we mentioned it before, of the Steve F. Yeah hat, um, which I am currently wearing right now. And I'm, I'm a sucker for anything Steve related. So as soon as I saw that, I was yeah. like, I'm, I'm buying that. I'm I, like, get I, I need that. I get it. I get it. Yeah. I think it also uh, was important to say that they had the sloped crowns as well as the as the regular uh, as the regular yeah. crowns. And I, I've realized now that I'm a sloped crown guy. Shape of my head has just got to be sloped crown. So uh, all the other hats that I brought on this trip are all the high crowns. And I like my uh, pizza hat. All the ones I wear on the cast. That's okay. I'm like, I'll take them all, Dustin. Don't even all right. Worry all right. About I'll hook you up because I need sloped hats of yeah, all of those. I got the, I got, I got the hookup. And, the- and and and. The, the, there's going to be a pizza beard hat. We, yes, we, we actually got to see it on the DL. We yeah, got to we see did, the designs. We, we did. We can. <laughs> but it, it looks good, so I can replace my pizza hat with the uh, with that one. Oh, so. 100. percent I'm yeah. definitely going to be picking up both the shirt and the hat as soon as it drops, uh, which we heard will be a little bit later. We don't think we're a little not, bit later. Not, not coming out immediately. Uh, going to be going to be coming out a little bit later. But uh, we're, we're really we're really happy and excited for Jake. 
All right. Now, we have to talk a little bit about the Outpost. And we've said in previous episodes of the podcast, the Outpost is a very special event. They've only had, this is the third one this ever. This is the third one ever. Twice in New York and then once in Cleveland Correct. earlier this year. Yes. And what they do is they bring a bunch of stock that they've got in the warehouses, wherever, and they put it up for sale. They offer a discount if you buy multiples of things. So if you buy four, I think you get a 20% discount. Yeah. And some of these things are very new. I mean, I saw a Snoopy Red Baron shirt that we were just talking about on the last cast. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, man. They, um, they, had, uh, they had that one out. They had a bunch of newer stuff here. Yeah. But then, of course, they also had some old stuff. I was able to pick up one of the original Hoboken meetup uh, Ooh, exclusives. Baby. Yes. Um, which was predates my time with the brand. It's a really great shirt with the Statue of Liberty on it. It's pretty I, awesome. I will say that so with that shirt in particular, um, it, that shirt also predates my times at Roosevelt's as well. But I will never forget joining Insiders and BST for the first time. And that was my first whale. Before I even knew the terminology well, I was on BST. I saw someone post that shirt, and I was like, yeah, I'm a sucker for things New York related. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking about picking up that I'm creeping here just because that's a New York related shirt. And I'm like, that's just, that's me. Yeah. I'm a, I am a born and raised proud New Yorker. So I need anything that supports where I live, I'm all for it. You told me Staten Island is more New Jersey. Staten Island, geographically speaking, is a little more, but I'm a New Yorker <laughs> at heart, baby, born in Brooklyn. <laughs> Um, so I will never forget going on BSD for the first time, seeing somebody post that shirt because I didn't know it was even a thing. And I was like, oh, I need that. Like, that is a phenomenal shirt. So as a New Yorker, as a proud New Yorker, and now as somebody like you who really wants to move to Staten Island now because I know you just fell in love with the borough, you're going to see that in the video, guys. Dustin has completely fallen in love with Staten Island. He definitely wants to be a Staten Islander. Oh, we got to do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Wu Tang for life. But you, you, you'll get that. That's got to be the. That's got to be the, the the header. By it the way, it will be. The, absolutely. The, uh, the, I don't know what you call it. The the, the thumbnail. The thumbnail. That's that got to be, the, be thumbnail. the thumbnail. Exactly. You'll get that. You'll get that when you see the video. <laughs> uh, um, uh, but that but that's a great shirt. So I'm really happy that you picked. That is personally speaking one of my favorite shirts that Roosevelt has ever come out with. So I was really cool and happy, excited for you that you yeah, got that. Yeah, for sure. It was really good. Um, now. We saw a lot of really rare shirts. There were indie shirts from D23. Yes, there was a couple the of D23. James Mulligan design. We saw those. But then on Friday, we saw, we the, saw the shirt of shirts. The shirt of shirts. <laughs> the, the unheard of. I don't know if you want me to do it. You want to do it? Go ahead. I'm taking okay. a drink. Okay. We got, I cannot even believe, and, and Dustin called it. Dustin called it. Yeah, baby. We, I called it. We've seen a couple of MCO shirts. For those who don't know or don't remember, back in January, Megacon, um, there was a shirt that was the MCO carpet. MCO is the Orlando International Airport. And they have a very particular carpet that a lot of people will go and they'll take a picture of with like their shoes and their, like, their feet. You know, like when they land, they kind of show that they're in Florida, they're going to Disney World. It's kind of a historic picture. Yeah. And so Roosevelt's made a shirt of that. And while we don't know all the background dealings of that, there was there were there, we do know there was a cease and desist, and those shirts were not allowed to be sold. We don't know what's happened since then, but we know that they're allowed to be sold at the outpost. And these were advertised; these were listed just like they normally list all the exclusive. There was it was on the printout. Correct. They advertised, which is probably how they got in trouble. Right, exactly. Somebody, uh, some, somebody, somebody called up the airport. So somebody a, dropped a dime. Somebody, <laughs> and you know, it's funny to think that those shirts probably flew on a, a on a on a on a plane to MCO. Um, so we've seen two of those shirts so far. We're hoping to see some more um, because those go quick. Those who know, know. Yeah. So I mean, if you see one of those in any size. You're picking that bad boy up. Yoink. Yoink. So I'm hoping I'm hoping we get some more of those because I know I definitely need some for myself. I know I have friends that absolutely need that one. I'm sure you would be picking that one up. Absolutely. You're, you're a traveler for as much as you do. You travel a lot. I can't even imagine probably how many times you've got you've stepped foot in MCO Airport. I many times. I grew I mean I also lived there for a right, long time. Exactly, so. you lived there. Right, exactly. Yeah. So you have probably seen that carpet more I've times. I've seen than that you. carpet a lot. I probably mm -hmm. spilled soda on that copper carpet. You probably you probably did. You probably yeah. did you clean I mean, it up? Of course. Oh, because well, he's a good guy. But you wouldn't know it because that carpet just absorbs stains and it moves really, on. It's a, it's a magical carpet. So so we are definitely really hoping to see more of those at the outpost. But that was 
That was a, like it was something a lot of us were hoping for. It was something that Dustin you called, yeah. but I mean to actually see it in person, be able to touch it, hold it, and everything, and you know it just means that when the outpost does come back in the future conventions, when we, we have no clue when and where that's going to be, yeah. we know that it's a possibility. Now. It's a possibility. And I'm going to say that you're probably going to see that line for the outpost get a little bit longer. Yeah. You might have to wake up just a little bit earlier if you want the chance <laughs> of scoring that shirt now that we know the possibility is there to get the MCO. Yeah, it, it, it was just a magical moment. I was so happy for James, who was Who is a folder. huge supporter of the podcast. He is a huge supporter of the podcast. I'm like, good. A, a Where Mighty Things listener. Dustin, you were there with your camera. You just happened to have your camera out when when, uh, when Jason pulled it. That's right. And as soon as he pulled it, he saw you You said to him, James, like, let me get a, let me get a shot of that. And he was like, oh my god, I love you guys' podcast. Just on, uh, like, yeah. On, wait, wait, wait. One, he recognized me, because I don't think I had been officially introduced to him. Right. And then he's like, oh yeah, you make a podcast. I know what you do. Yeah. And, um, for, and we, by the way, we've been getting a lot of that this weekend. Yeah, from people telling good us, stuff. Asking us for pictures and, you know, wanting to uh, talk oh, to us oh, about the podcast. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, oh, hey, oh, who, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, file oh, not found. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Whoa, is this, it, a, is this a dapper degen? Yes. Oh, oh, come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on. We have, uh, we have Dan and Carlo here. This is Dan Delaney <laughs> from the Dapper DJs podcast. Dan, how are you doing today, my friend? Doing great. Yeah, Carlos, how are you? Really good, really good. good. How are you guys enjoying your con? So far, so good. good. Well, Dan, do you want to talk a little bit about some of the things that you may have picked up at this con? For those who are in the BST uh, community, they're not for sale. Um, <laughs> so probably, aside from the con shirts that uh, everybody kind of knew going into it, uh, picked up today's Stranger Things nice. uh, floral uh, from the Outpost. I have been losing graciously uh, to another insider who's <laughs> there when all the good stuff came out. Oh, yeah. But I snagged a Spano. A Spano Spano? at the Outpost? Oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Good for what you, size? My 3X. Oh, the triple flex. Well, I, I need that. So you can just open up and yeah, get that. Yeah, exactly. You can just <laughs> deposit it over here. You can here. just deposit it into that bag if you want. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations! Then, That's a great grab. And then pins. You may, you may have. I, well, I, 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 I got that, a couple pins. I heard that you may have picked up one or t- one or two pins. Maybe you have a couple. Actually, yeah. you, boxes. Actually, actually, your lanyard right there. Yeah. You, you Coming close on this you, lanyard. This now is, we've got this, these. This has become a favorite of yours, I'm assuming. Well, now it's a running gag. Yeah. Um, Look at this. That basically we started pulling the Bloody Mary pins as early as San Diego, and they were just every like other pin. It felt like. And so, on the five or six pins that you bought, you know. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we got here. Uh, another friend of uh, the channels and, and uh, ours, Kevin, came in late, opened a pin, and, and Dustin, our uh, DTH, goes, "Oh, it's Martin's favorite pin." So Martin and I decided to get all the ones that we have opened from this con, put them on our lanyards, and see if anybody noticed. <laughs> well, they definitely have. They noticed. definitely noticed. But, yeah. the, but over there at the end, you have two of my favorite pins that I am definitely looking for: the Roosevelt's Outpost pin and Fuck Vowels. So those are two of the best pins. I think it says Fick Vowels. Yeah. Thick, it, it does there's, say, no, there's no you in there. Right. Thick Vowels. Thick Vowels. It's a children's just, channel. It's it's a, a, it's a children's just, I need a sensor button around me at all times. Yes. Dustin do. was just saying that he never knows what I'm going to say when he hands me a microphone. <laughs> and it does make him just a little bit nervous, but because he gets that nervous, that's why he keeps me I'm around. on edge. I'm on edge. He, he does that. He, he's like, okay, what's he going to say? What's he going to say? What's he going to say? Um, Car- Carlo, what did you pull out of the outpost? What did I get? I got a Roper Mythosar. So nice. that was San Diego last year. I got a. Oh, man. It's a Boba Fett. Bounty something. Bounty something. I can't think of the name. And a... Lahaina, is it? What? Oh, the... Uh, yeah, the, the beachy... The one that was a fundraiser for Maui. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can see a little bit of it right there. That guy right there. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I yeah. see it. Yeah, it looks good. 
for the cruise. Actually. Oh, oh, that's right. You're, you're, that's right. Yes, you are coming on the Roosevelt's inside the first right. meetup at and this sea, is a baby. Paid promotion. That's right. Yes, <laughs> <I did. laughs> we don't want to let them know that. We don't let them. Money <laughs> was transacted. Money was transacted, <laughs> and now, but now you're coming on the cruise. I'm so yeah, excited, man. Cruise, it's yeah. it's going to be a great time. Really excited that uh, that that two of my friends are coming on the cruise. They're still waiting on this guy right here. Hey, hey, waiting on confirmation. You know I love you. I, I hope you can make it, but if you can, it's all good. I understand. We always we need Dan Delaney. Damn we, Daniel. Oh, damn Daniel. <laughs> you see his hat. That's where that came from. Damn it Daniel. Says, damn Daniel on it. What are those? That's a running insider joke uh, between me and another amazing insider, Casey, uh, who made the hat and he started the meme wars early on. And uh, yeah, every post I do, I get a damn Daniel. Damn, damn, Daniel. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> love it. I love it, man. It's real and awesome. What has been your favorite shirt of the exclusives that have dropped so far during this convention? Might be the Spooky Flora. Spooky, spooky Flora. Spooky Flora. Yes, and were you lucky enough to get one for yourself? Again, not for trade, not for sale. Not for trade, not for sale. No, I get it. But, I mean, but... Yes. My friend, what has been your favorite drop of the um, New York Comic Con? Well, once it's in my hands, Spooky Floral, I did you get a card. Also, you also so I gotta, scored. I, I got to be back here in an hour for all it. Four, all four of us should have pulled the Spooky Floral. I and, think that's and I would say the uh, today's surprise was a nice one, actually. The Hoppers, the yeah, Debbie the Gorgon Sandra one. Things. Yeah, Stranger yeah, Things. Absolutely. Yeah, which is the first of the Netflix. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's right. We were just really talking cool about it. Really cool and really exciting. Yeah. Oh man! Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah, man, this great is great to see you. Really awesome. Say hi to all of the folks. Tell them to like and subscribe. Yeah, like, and, like subscribe. and subscribe my channel. Yes. <laughs> be, yeah. No, no. In be, no, no, be, no. Be sure to listen to uh, Dan and uh, Dan and Josh oh, yeah. and Will and everybody on the Dapper DJs. Absolutely, we love you guys. Yeah, and I yeah. think later we're having an Anchorman style fight. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's yes. right. There's an Anchorman two f- style fight between. That's right. Yeah, like sharks and the jets. Sharks and the jets, baby. West Side Story. <laughs> There we go. More appropriate for New York. Absolutely. <laughs> and New Jersey has a better pizza. And when are we going to Sabaros? Oh, God. The sun will come out. Sabaros. We're going uh, a little bit later after the pin trading. I right. say you just get a can of Doles and go to any pizzeria and just pull it out. No, crack what it are you doing? Stop. Stop. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Uh, you say it's Another pro there. participant for pineapple on no, pizza. No, no, no. All of you are, all of you are, no, all of you are wrong. You're all, okay. okay. No. Tomato I, is no, a no, fruit. No, 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 I will throw down. Tomato is a Dude, fruit. Dude, I, no, I will force Same. feed you Tomato is a, fruit. a fresh pineapple, fresh sliced jalapeno, yeah. nice mozzarella, maybe well, a What did you call it? You, you, you gotta say mozzarella. Mozzarella, mozzarella. What are we doing? Yeah, yeah. We had such a good time, right? No, no, no. We're gonna go. We're going to go get the store bought. What are you doing? What are you doing? I think John is mad again. (laughs) You know I love you all. I absolutely love the heck out of all of you. But you guys are the absolute best. Thanks, guys. Oh, hey. hey. It's a hug train. I'm a a bit of a hugger. We're not done yet. We're We're not done yet. We'll see you guys later. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, oh, and then there's Jay Collins right over there. He just, he just, he just did a little. He just did, he just did a little woo woo. He, he, he did a little. He did a little pixie. People have also been photo bombing behind, like as they're walking by, making faces. So I'm leaving that in. Oh yeah, leave I'm it leave, in. I'm leaving all that stuff. Yeah, but in. if you see us at a future convention, do you definitely want to? Uh, yeah. Give us a, give us the ugly face. Just do whatever, do whatever you want. Like we're, we're not, we're, 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 we're walking here. We're, we're walking over we're here. We're recording here. I don't know how that works. <laughs> all right. Um, well. This has uh, been a blast being this here at New York Comic Con. Like Dan said, we're not done. We still got the rest of today, the pin trading activity. Tomorrow is probably going to be a little bit of a sleepy day. You know, I we're agree. Kind of expecting yeah. it to drop down a little bit. Just a, a lot little of bit. a lot of folks got to travel. That's a travel day for folks. But you never know. You never know. You well, never who know. knows? If something crazy happens, everybody's going to flock back here. And uh, maybe tomorrow we'll have to edit this podcast and introduce even more new things that the Roosevelt's have dropped. Absolutely. Um, before we leave, there's one bit of news that I kind of wanted to share. Uh, Dustin has no clue what I'm about to say right now. Oh, no. So I'm, I'm really excited to ask that I wanted to drop this on the podcast exclusively. Go ahead. Um, I've had a blast doing a live podcast with you in uh, D23. Yeah. I've had a blast doing a live podcast with you at New York Comic Con. And I'm really happy to say we're doing a live podcast in Jacksonville, baby. We got one? We're going to Jacksonville. You're going to Jacksonville? I'm going to Jacksonville! <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. He did not know that at what? all. How is that? How, how is it possible? Well, we're going to talk on it all fair about that. Oh, but, uh, it, no! It, it's happening. j here we come, baby. 
So, Dustin and I will see you in Jacksonville. I'm sure we will make time to do a live podcast. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so much fun. So, I'm really excited for that. That's just and a couple weeks away. It's just a couple weeks away. So, we'll be seeing each other very soon, my friend. Oh my gosh, that is and so good. And I thought good. I wanted to drop the news here before anyone saw on Insiders or on anything. That's so great. So, I want to make sure Where that's... Mighty Things, Where Mighty Things gets the exclusive. Wow. Well, we also we've gotten a bunch of stuff today. This has been a really great time. This has been a great fantastic episode. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and uh we're just going to sign off the way that we always do. Yes. Until next time. Where, Where mighty things. things. So long, everybody. Bye. Bye.